Now that we have the ability to upload images, what about displaying them on the home page? Well, the majority of this is going to be styling because to actually output them into this home view is pretty easy. In fact, we've already done a lot of the work over in index.php when we were testing out our models. So all we really want to do here is pass this images variable through to this home view and then iterate through them and then use the upload care PHP library to display them. So to actually pass these through to the view, then we pass an array as the second argument in this render method. And then in here, we give the key name and the value. So in this case, it will be images and images. So now on our home view, we have our images available to iterate through. So let's start out with the markup. It's always a good idea to start with the markup and then we will style this all up in just a moment. So to actually do this, then we are going to have a container and this is going to be thumbnails. And inside of here, we are going to have a thumbnail thumb class for each of our thumbnails. And inside of this, we're going to have an anchor because we're going to be able to click through onto an image to see it on its own page. Maybe we want to share that image and that will be identified by the hash, but we'll get to that in the next part. So inside of our anchor, then we want an image. Now I'd recommend you keep your alt tag, but I'm going to get rid of it just for now, uh, just because we don't have any metadata about this image. And for the source, then what do we output? Well, once we actually loop through these and remember, we're going to be iterating on this, we should have access to something like image.url. But we're going to be doing things slightly differently. We're going to be using the upload care library to go ahead and grab this file. And this means that we can use any more methods on it to scale it, change the quality, uh, set progressive loading on all of this good stuff. So let's start by just iterating through then. So in twig, we say for image in and then what we want to iterate on. So each loop will now be called image. And we just go and end that for just down there. So for the image source, then if we were to do image.url, this would in fact work. So if we just refresh, you can see that we get two images just here and that cropped version, because remember when we uploaded, it stored all the properties in. But to be able to manipulate this further, the best thing to do is to use the upload care library. So remember, it's under app.uploadcare. And what we can do is say get file and we can pass that image URL in. And then from this, we can say get URL. Now this will give us exactly the same result, but because we're now using the library, we can add on additional things. So we can say, well, I want to scale crop this. So it's always 500 by 300 in width and height. And this will give us an effect like this. Now, this is exactly what we want because we want uniform sizes for each of the images that we're going to be outputting uh, on the home page. And what we can also do is use any of the other items uh, within here. So you can see under the quick start guide for PHP, this is exactly how we do things. And of course, what you can do is come over to the CDN uh, section of the uh, documentation and you can read all about the different things you can do with images. So uh, there's a lot of useful stuff in here, uh, particularly if you're building something like an image upload site. So what we also want to do is change the quality. So we're going to be using the OP method, which allows us to pass in a specific uh, item or a specific setting into the content delivery network URL. So we can say something like quality lightest. I'm going to do this because we're potentially going to be showing lots of images on this home page. And we can also say, well, for JPEGs, I want progressive uh, image loading on. So I can just say progressive. Yes. And that is pretty much it. Feel free to add anything else here you want. You can add filters, uh, do whatever you want. But now I have two images here that I can start to style. And we're going to be doing that now. So to style these up, then what I'm also going to do is add a class onto this actual image element. And this is going to be thumbnails and thumb image just so we can style this out as well and of course we're going to head over to app.css and start to uh, write out the styles that we need to get this working 
So for the thumbnails then, we are going to be using Flexbox to display these. So Flexbox is just basically a kind of grid system, but it works purely with CSS. So it's for layout. That's essentially what it is. So we're going to be using a display of flex. We are going to say that we want the flow of this to be a row and we want to wrap our uh, items down if they become too long for that particular row. And we want to justify the content with space around. Now this is all we need to do. All of the items now within our thumbnails element will now be displayed like so. So these are nice and evenly spaced and we can add more and these will again be evenly spaced. So let's just upload uh, one more file and we can see how this looks. And there we go. So again, evenly spaced. So we're going to be starting up each of these individual things here then. And then we have a nice responsive uh, image gallery. So for the thumbnail thumb then, so thumbnails thumb, we want to set the width of this to 300 pixels. So we're going to be creating a fixed width, but that doesn't matter because we're using Flexbox. So everything will uh, nicely uh, move in for us. We're going to be setting 40 pixels on the top, 40 pixels on the left, uh, uh, zero on the bottom and 40 pixels on the right. And we're going to be setting a background color of white. Now, the reason we're setting a background color of white is because we're going to be adding some box shadow in just a moment. Now, I'm also going to set the padding on here to 10 pixels. And for that thumbnail image, so thumbnails thumb image, we're going to be setting the width to 100% or this won't look quite right. So now we have the following. If we have a look at this, so thumbnails thumb, just make sure that we gave uh, the class here. So thumbnails thumb, there we go. And there we are. So this looks a little bit better already. Obviously, you can increase the size of these if you want. It's entirely up to you. So now, just to make these pop a little bit, we're going to add some box shadow to the thumb container. So we're going to say a one pixel X and Y offset. We're going to have a spread of 40 and the RGB will be black with a 0.1 on the alpha channel. And all that means is that it has a essentially a 10% transparency. So now we have the following. You can see how that is popping a little bit more. So let's just upload one or two more images just to see how this looks, maybe just one more. And you can see that this is now nicely responsive. It comes in. And even when we go down to a very small view, we have this really lovely uh, responsive grid like effect. OK, so now we want to make these a little bit more interesting. So when I hover over these, I want them to scale and pop towards the screen. So to do this, we go ahead and set up a hover pseudo element. So we're going to say thumbnails thumb. And on hover, this is the pseudo uh, element or selector rather. We're going to say transform scale. And we're going to say 1.1. So this is 10% bigger than the original element. And now when I hover over, you can see that these get larger. Now at the moment, this is a bit harsh. So we want to add a nice smooth transition. And of course, we can do that with CSS as well. So to do this, then we just want to grab the thumbnails thumb class. So let's just pull this up here. And we want to set a transition of transform because we are using uh, transform down here. So we want to uh, transition on the transform element. I'm going to set this to 80 milliseconds, so pretty quick. And I'm going to set ease in. But you can set things like ease in out. And of course, you can adjust the time here as well. You can also use seconds. So you can say 1s rather than uh, milliseconds. So now we should have a nice smooth transition when we go ahead and hover over these. Perfect. So that is pretty much it. We have output our images on the home page. The only thing that we need to do now is be able to click on them and see them on their own page. And to do that, we're going to be using the hash that we generated earlier when we actually uploaded our images.